So you can hear the noise, it's intermittent with the compressor off. Picking up. Once the compressor engages, it's pretty much way more consistent. The compressor is shut off, it gets a little quiet. So belt noise. This is the tools we usually use to find those. This is more of a sound cone for picking up noises that are uh, radiating and kind of ambient, kind of just getting close to it in a way. And then it gets louder. And then uh, you pull this out. This is a Lyle stethoscope. So you just pull that out and you connect this guy. And then now you have something to touch on stuff like a heart stethoscope. And we put these uh, vacuum nipples on there to make it a little less sensitive because if you get something very loud in this, it could damage your eardrum if it's loud enough. So these are what we used to use. Now we use a pressure pull sensor by Autodytex, any Delta pressure sensor. So I got a hose on it, obviously. Uh, adapt the right size hose to fit this guy. And now we have an electronic stethoscope. So let's test it. These are very sensitive, so when you're using it, make sure you're not against anything. So, I have it on a one volt scale, and you just gotta test it. Put it on the alternator, we get some pulses. We have activity. So if you get amplitude that's very little, you can go down in uh, voltage, your scale, and see how it increases it. But you don't wanna go too much. And you want to keep it even so one volt back to one volt ac compressor right there hopefully you can pick this up and i'm making sure to hold this floating in the air so it's not picking up any ambient vibrations Once this compressor kicks off, oh, well, I'll go power steering. But do you see, you hear the noise, and none of these are corresponding with the noise. You get vibrations and stuff. But what I'm looking for specifically is this all uh, idler pulley. If I go on the bolt, it's a lot noisier, but we get spikes that correspond with that noise. See, now the compressor's on, so it's way louder. Compressor off, go back on it. So it's noisier than an alternator, but boom, spike, 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 and it correlates exactly with that noise. See, now the compressor's on. It's way noisier than when it's intermittent. Spike, spike. Spike, spike. Smooth. Perfect. Smooth. Spike, spike, spike. Spike, spike, spike. So that's a good example right there. I will add that this little rubber vacuum nipple tore and the probe is sticking through it a little bit. So I'm experimenting with it and without it. The noise seems pretty stable. Um, consistent with or without it, it's pretty much the same. But what I'm noticing is without it, I'm on the pulley and I'm just slipping off all day long. Well, this thing is kind of just stuck on there a little bit. So that's pretty much the only tip I can give for this guy. If you need it, if you're slipping off, put a little rubber vacuum nipple on it. That's how we find noises with a scope. Thank you guys for watching. Diagnostic Dennis out.